Hey, good morning guys. Today we're gonna do something fun. As you know, I built my own water maker from a pressure washer, but with a pressure washer, of course you can pressure wash. So I bought an extra long hose. We can connect this to the gun and we're gonna see if we can pressure wash the anti-fouling off the boat and get rid of anything. So easy as that, we're just gonna disconnect the water maker. There we go. We're gonna put the hose in with the gun. Let's go. Okay, test one. Will it clean the boat? Yes, it will. Awesome, guys. Let's see if we can do the bottom. Second test. Will it clean the upper hull of the boat? Yeah, buddy. Nope, unfortunately not. Just like with the scraper, it's the hardest part. It doesn't come off. Eh. Fail. Test three. Will the barnacles come off? Let's see how the green growth on the white hull comes off. It comes off, but with a lot of effort. Test four. How does it work underwater? Well, let's try the propeller for an instant. And uh, stuff comes off, but I'm not very, very impressed. So, final test, the hull. How will this work? Well, as you see, unfortunately, another disappointment. This growth underneath the boat is just too strong. So, no, back to the normal way, scraping it. But hey, maybe a pressure washer will be good as an underwater jet. Not very impressed either. Okay, so the conclusion is a 1200 PSI Kerger pressure washer and a 15 meter hose will not get the growth off of your anti-fouling on the hull of your boat. So scraping is still the best option.